Good evening guys. Today I will be looking at how to populate a database. So yes, I'm looking at database management and the software application that I'll be using is data, uh, Microsoft Access. But before I do that, I'm going to remind you guys to subscribe if you have not subscribed, like, share, comment and remember to watch the ads for me. So database management is what we're going to be looking at. And what is database management? Well, we know that it is a software application, but what is it used for? It is usually used to manage the storage and retrieval of information for institutions with a lot of information. information. So schools, um, hospitals, etc any institution that has a lot of information to deal with it manages the storage and retrieval of information for those institutions all right so we're going to be looking at how to populate a database which includes how to type in information how to create records which includes like field names because each um each type of information rather would be called field name and of course you have to have the correct field type for it which is called data type um we're going to be looking at how to create tables how to put in primary keys to uniquely identify a table how to create a relationship of course this is between two tables how you link two tables um, and this is usually used when you want to mainly use when you want to do certain types of queries all right so that's what we're going to be looking at today in today's video all right so first thing you need to do is to create a database so the application that we're going to be using is microsoft access so we're going to be opening microsoft access so you would click on the windows button and then you'll click on access then you would click on blank database then you will give your database a name i'm going to be calling mine school database and then of course you would then click on create do you want to replace the existing file oh i have one that is already called school database i'm going to call this one school database 2 and then click on create all right so immediately you will see on your left hand side table one so we're going to be creating our first table of course i'm going to show you how to create another table so that we can create a relationship to satisfy queries that we will be looking at in the future all right so what we will do then is to edit this table so we're going to be putting in what we call field names and data types but as i go along you will understand better what it is i am talking about all right so in order for us to do that we have to click on design view so where you see view where my mouse pointer is you're going to click on the drop down arrow you will see data sheet view and design view we're going to be clicking on design view so that we can go right ahead and design um, the table. We are now going to give the table a name. We can call this table student table. So in our database, we will have a student table and we will have a, um, a subject table. I'm going to call that subject table EDPM student info or something like that. Then we're going to select OK once you have given that table its name. All right. So here you go. The first field name, which is the first type of information that you'll have in your record, is your ID, that which you will be using to identify or uniquely identify this table. So in a student table, we would normally have student ID number. So we could call it stewed ID for now. 
all right and the data type for it must match with it otherwise your information will be flawed all right so what will we put for it we will put number all right and now and if you notice to the left hand side you'll notice a little key is there that represents your primary key so we have identified our primary key which is called student id we're going to click in the next box which is right below student id and we're going to name put in the next field name which will be first name so we're going to type first name and usually names are considered to be short text so the data type for it would be short text we're going to now put in sir name right below first name and again the data type for that would be short text so we would need to change it another thing that could be in our student table is dob we're going to put in dob which represents date of birth and that would be the data type for that if you click on the drop down arrow you will see a list of data type and for that we will choose you guess and tell me date and and time all right another thing that could be in it is address the address of the students so we're going to put in address as a field name and the data type for that would be long text because you know address is usually long well for most people all right so we're going to stop right there where the student table is concerned we're not going to put in any more right there all right so the next thing to do is to save this table and then create our records all right so we're going to change the view to data view but before we can do that we have to save the table so when it prompts you to save you say yes and then give it a name oh well we don't need to give it any we already gave it any we just click on yes to save it all right so let us quickly put in some id numbers and first names etc all righty um we can call let me see uh krs one two three first name oh we can't use letters in here and that's why the error came up because we set the data type as number so we have to ensure that the id number is actually a number all right we can move on since we changed it to a number and i'm going to put carry read for the surname and the 17th of the tent nineteen eighty the address we're going to put one chinese road all right we're going to put in about three students just to have some information in our database our student table Another ID could be 321 and it could be Dane Salmon and the date of birth could be the, the 9th of March 1979 and the address could be 2 mellow drive mandeville and we could fix the one above to be a little longer as well we could put that in portmore we're going to be adding one more record we're going to put in another id four two three three and we could say mary in first name we're going to put mary and mccarty as the last name and we're going to put in the 12th of the 12th 1978 and 
34, John's Road, Spanish Town. All right, so we are finished creating our first table. We have three records in it. So we're going to assume that only three students are in the EDPM student info table that we will be creating soon. So we need to save our information. We can change the view if we need to correct anything. All right, do we need to correct anything? No. By the way, where date and time is concerned, you could also change the format down the bottom here. Where you see format, you could select the date format that you want. You could use general date, long date, medium date, short date, long time, medium time, short time. You could just choose the date and time format that you want. All right. So guys, we're now going to create another table. So now we're going to be creating another table. How we do that? We click on create and then table. After you have done that, you will, of course, change the view like I told you. And to do that, you will click on the drop down arrow under view and click on design view. And then this time we're going to be calling our table EDPM student info. And then click on OK. All right, I'm going to remove the dot. Maybe the dot is causing a problem. When you get arrows like that, just remove the dot and see if it makes a difference. Okay, there. yes, it made a difference. So then you're going to put in your field names and data type and then add your records after. All right, so the field name, we can put in student ID as the primary key for this table as well. It doesn't have to be the same as what you had in the previous table, but you need at least a foreign key to form the relationship for the queries that you will do in the future. So once there is a um, a link or a field name that is there in both tables, you can create a relationship to do your query. But I'm going to show you how to do that later on. So we're going to put in back student ID and leave it as primary key for this table as well. And then we're going to change it to number, the data type that is. And the next one will be What should we put? Um, in EDPM student info, you'll need the teacher's name. You will also need, help me to think guys, you will also need the subject, which would be short text as well. You will also need the first name of the students, you'll also know, uh, need the surname. And if you notice, automatically it puts short text, but if you need to change the data type, you just simply click on the drop down arrow and select the appropriate data type. So I'm going to leave those in it for now, and I'm going to just save the table. We need to save the table. We're going to change the view Remember to change the view, we click on the drop down arrow for view and then click on design view. And then we're going to um, data sheet view, sorry. And then we're going to add our records. So we have to have matching ID numbers. We had one, two, three before. So we had to put that, we have to put that in as well. The teacher's name, we could put K Reed Simpson. The subject put EDPM. Um, the first name we had Kerry for one. The surname we had Reed. All right. The next record would be four. Or was it three? Three two one. Three two one.
Yes, three, two, one, and the, and the teacher is K. Reed Simpson for that subject. The subject is EDPM, and the first name for this ID was Dane. Last name Summon. All right, and the next ID would be four three two zero. Same teacher. And same subject. And we had Mary in that class. Mary McCarthy. McCarthy should be in surname. Let me remove it paste it there so that's what we had right so so we have all the information that we need and we're going to save the table all right so we have a student table with the student information we have our edpm student info which is for the subject itself so it has in it the id number of the students the student's name the teacher who teaches the subject and the subject itself all right so the next thing i'm going to show you now is how to create the relationship between the two tables so that you can do certain queries not all queries need two tables but it is wise to have at least two tables and usually because database is used by in, um by institutions who have a lot of information you will more than likely have at least two tables in there so now I'm going to show you how to create the link between the two tables. So to create the relationship with the two tables that we have, we are going to click on data tools and then relationships. And then we're going to click on each table. So we're going to click on add tables and then EDPM student info. That's a table that we're going to click on. If you notice, you have tables, queries, both, but we're dealing with tables to create our relationship. So we're going to click on the first table, then add. And if you notice on the left-hand side, you will see the table that you click on and add it. Clicked on and add it. Then the next table, which is student table, you'll click on it and then add and then close. All right, so in order to create a relationship, what you will have to do is to click from one primary key to another. And if you had a foreign key, you could have used a foreign key as well. So you would click on student ID and then drag the link right over to the other student ID. And then you will select all three options that are here, enforce referential integrity, cascade update related fields, cascade deleted related records and then when you have selected all three options that are there you're going to select on uh, select okay all right and then you will see your relationship now you can use this to answer queries which i'm going to show you how to do in the next video thank you guys for watching i'm going to ask you again to subscribe if you didn't subscribe before like share comment and watch the ads. Thanks again, guys.